Hi guys, I made a little simple summary I really quick and I just wanted to share it with you guys. And if you like this video at the end, leave a like or a comment and if you even really like it, subscribe. So first off, we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Fergie Stay All Day Primer. And I take a very small amount and blend it all over my eyelids. I like that this product doesn't actually like give my eyelids like that weird white cast, but it does make them look more even, less oily. And then I'm going to take this brown shade from the um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette on my 217, and I'm going to use that to set my primer and color my lid a little bit to kind of give me a nice blank slate for the rest of this eye look. I love the smell of the Chocolate Bar palette. It's hard to not use it. And then we're going to take this big fluffy brush and we're going to put it in this kind of taupey shade from the Chocolate Bar palette. And we're going to blend that into my crease to make a soft crease for this look, just to give my eyes some definition. We're going to take, make sure we use windshield wiper motions going from basically the length of my eyebrow all over my eye. And I raise my eyebrows only for when I'm really doing the outer corner. Then I'm going to take this kind of dome fluffy brush and I'm going to take it into Pharaoh from Luxie and I'm going to warm up that crease because that Toby color is just too cool for a summery look. So I'm going to take Pharaoh and blend it in as well with a denser brush to make it more warm. And just going to make sure we're, we're more focusing towards the outer V at this point, just warming the crease and the outer V a lot. Then we're going to take this fluffy dome brush, and we're not actually taking any eyeshadow. We're just going to blend everything together. This is how you keep your matte looks really nice and blended. So just take a nice clean brush and go back and forth along all of your lines to kind of soften them up and make them look less harsh. It's my favorite trick in the book. Then we're going to take this mildly dirty shader brush, it's not actually dirty, and we are going to take it into, I totally paused, or is that totally, oh it's total Betty, oops, total Betty, and we're going to wet the brush with some water that's in this bottle, and we're going to apply total Betty to the center of the lid, kind of trying to keep it mostly in the center. I started with swiping motions, but I should have used uh, patting motions the entire time, so I will have to put another layer on that eye. But yeah, just patting motions using Total Betty from Luxie, and then we're going to take another shader brush and wet that one as well, and we're going to put Fallen from You, Falling for You, from Luxie Beauty as well, and we're going to put that on the inner corner, again mildly foiling it. And we're putting it on the inner third of my eye and a little bit on the inner corner just to kind of give my eye that little summery glowing look. And I know it looks really weird because you're like, well, there's a distinct line in between them. So we're going to take this the shader brush from Total Betty and we're just going to blend those two together to make it look more cohesive. Then we're going to take a domed blending brush and we're going to go into Truffle from Luxie Beauty. And we're just going to clean up the crease a little bit because there was a little bit of um, falling for you that made it into the crease that it shouldn't have. We just want to make sure that the crease has depth and definition. And we're going to take the CoverGirl Professional Mascara. It's, it removes the water. And we're just going to give my lashes a nice quick coat for some natural length and darkness. And... I did my eyebrows off camera because I don't do good eyebrows. But there you go. Nice, soft, summery look. Sure to grab a lot of attention. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.